Hello everyone, welcome back to PJ's Cat Class. I would like to make a special uh, addition today and to my student Amy Lin. Amy Lin is my student back in 2014. And this is some of her work when she took my cat class. Um, we did a lot of things. We do bell sender, we do the castle, and we do the little ducky. You see this little cute ducky right there underneath. And she also designed some ring. This is the very first jewelry she designed. And uh, we also designed toy. There's a lot of things we did in the class, and she, this is her final project for the collection for her jewelry design. And the reason I want to make this video for her is recently she got a car accident uh, caused by a drunk driver and uh, she survived and I'm really happy for her is not only she survived from those multiple um, surgery and she's also keep it really positive. And um, she told me that recently she get a little bit frustrated about her recovery speed. So I want to make this video for her and also share you how to make a jewelry um, out of word. Uh, the word I want to give it to her is belief. Amy, believe yourself and you will back into jury um, feel you will be doing soldering hammering in no time I believe in you you will recover soon and this is the jury I were going to present to you all right so let's get started in Rhino you have all the text underneath here's a text object and then you can um, type you have a lot of choice right here if you cannot find any of the font that you like, you can actually go to uh, www.fonts.com and um, they, are, they look like this. Um, this is the fonts.com and you will see they have a lot of fonts and if you go to the font list, it will give you a preview of what it looks like. You can search by name or you can just browse it to find the one you like. After you find a font from the um, fonts.com and you can install in your computer and then you will get that font. Then you will go to the text object and you will find a font and type any of the word that you want it to have. Then after that, we are going to use uh, the curve and turn on the control point and that allow us to edit uh, some of the detail. And then you are going to use an extruded planar curve to make it into the solid. Okay, so this is what we are going to do. Let me turn this off and I'm going to text object and I'm going to type it believe or maybe we are using something different word so you can use all kind of word in there all right and the one i use is called edward mr edward where are you at warden script okay so it becomes something like this all right then um height is the how tall you want this font and i don't want it to, to, to be too big so maybe 12 millimeter and i just want to have a curve because um, we want to edit it, some of them and then we click ok and this is word okay so if you see like this um this is the curve and um there's some like uh overlapping here uh the reason I'm using the curve is because if you use, you could use solid and what happened to the solid is the, you have this, they actually, let me turning on into the ghost view. They actually, if you don't group them, they are different word, like different solid. And then you will need to boiling them. 
But the reason I don't like it is because you see the surface like this. It may not be the problem in this case, but a lot of time, I would like to have a surface, a continuous surface, to be the better model. Okay, and then we also need to edit some of the area right there. As you can see, it's a really small gap, less than one millimeter. You might have a casting problem that you cannot flow the metal through. So I, I actually like to have this more close to the right side, and so you won't have a casting problem. So let me go back to the editing, and let's take a look on the top view. All right. So this is the word that we have. I'm going to um, ungroup them, and I also want to trim anything in the middle, like this. So that look like a continued piece, okay? And also on these things here, we are going to turn on the control point, which is F10, or you can turn the control point on. And I like to move uh, maybe those control points going to hold the shift so you can edit those control point and turn on the gumball and I want to move those to here all right now it look a little bit weird right here so I'm gonna move it up a little bit so try to make it smooth as smooth as possible I might need to move this one up a little bit. Okay. Maybe like this. It try not to have any kink so you will look smoother. All right, so this is what I was talking. Now since this is together, I can use the trim tool and I will trim the one in the middle. So that is still get the effect of the looking of like a squirrel moving thing, but it's, it's not having that gap. All right, um, it's really personal preference. Uh, sometimes it look okay, sometimes it doesn't. And then since we wanna cast it into one piece, so I'm going to trim this as well. All right. So now we have all into one piece. I'm gonna select everything. And going to the solid, you have extruded planar curve straight, okay? And let's go take a look on the perspective. All right. This is, ideally, I wanna do a 3D printing. Uh, I don't want it to be too thin. So I will do the thickness in between 0.8 millimeter to one millimeter. So let's just put one here. The reason I'm doing it is because uh, after wax printing, you're casting and you need to set it down the casting. And so there are some material west. If you set it really thin like you, will buy this plate in the jewelry store. It may, may only have 0.6 millimeter. Once you print it out, it will break. All right, those are done by stamp, not by casting. So keep in mind that you need to have a certain thickness for the west. All right, so this is the word. All right, and then you can add a jump ring here and there and put a chain. So it will look like what I have, oops. Let me turn this off, what I have for this, okay? For some of you um, want to know how to make this chain, uh, it's quite simple. I have another tutorial on YouTube um, right here. If you go to the YouTube, uh, go to my channel, PJ Chain Design, and then you will see uh, one of the video. It's called Jury Cat Design, how to build a chain in Rhino 5. Uh, in this video, um, I'm showing you um, how to build a chain from scratch and all the way to, you know, the link and how you link together and how you flow to the curve. So I won't repeat it on this demonstration and then you can watch that video. Um, and if you cannot find it, I'm just highlight here and that is the link for that video. And let me turn on the render view for you. All right. So the word for today is belief. Specific for my student, 
Amy Lin. I hope you recover really soon, and I believe you will. Thank you for watching, and I will see you in my next video.